music is better. <laughs> What's up, guys? It's your homeboy, Cowboy Crunk, rolling through Kabul downtown in your up armor vehicle, doing your greatest. Your this, you know, music is good. No problem. Good. Yeah. They turned the music off. They 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 didn't. They too much respect for the for the radio show. Hey, but guys, uh, it's your war daddy from Kabul, Afghanistan. We had some changes last night. I did go to sleep. I got as 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 you can see, looking beautiful and fresh this morning with my man Gunnar Pekin from Turkey, Istanbul. But uh, no, wanted to uh, go over what happened last night. We lost one of the uh, our coaches. Big big surprise. I, I was reading. The uh, I was reading the interview last night. I think my camera's a little. There we go. Now we're now we're living fresh. Um, I, I was reading the article myself and come across the, the beginning of it. it. It said that we terminated an offensive, and I'm like, oh my goodness, Linehan is gone, or or Kellen Moore is gone, or or, or and the line coach is gone. And, but really, guys. I'm really, really anticipating this being a, a, a good move. I apologize the glare coming in here. It's not the camera. The camera's clean. There's nothing I can do about it. That's just, uh, it's something to do with the glass on these up armored vehicles. That's the way it shows up on, on a video screen. Um, but anyways, uh, Mark Colombo moves up. I don't know if you guys know who Mark Colombo is. Mark Colombo was a beast, bro. Uh, he, he, was, he was one of those just nose in the dirt, dirty, blood snot boogers all those things flying he was he was a tough guy uh and and, and he was one of those guys uh anything went down uh, you know anybody stepped up in in, in aikman or or you know step up in the quarterback's face he's one of those guys that come punch you and punch you in your mouth and tell him you know get away from my quarterback uh so this is kind of a good thing for us and the biggest thing i like is uh is is hawk has moved in uh hudson hawk has moved in to have oversight and i don't know if you know guys know who that is he was our offensive line coach back during the super bowl uh super bowl run he came in after the first super bowl uh in 92 he was our he was our line coach from 93 to 2001 so um i, I really like the move especially the oversight that, that we're gonna have now um it's a big it's a big big deal to have that type of, of oversight and management uh, you know, it's like kind of like having a John Elway there uh, as a as a you know oversight uh, type thing for your quarterbacks or something. It, it, to me, it's it's almost that level of, of, of coaching move. Um, Hudson Hawk has been in the in the league for 20. This is his 29th season of coaching, so he has a lot of experience. is really really well respected uh, and all those things. So, along with the Cooper Rush. Uh, Cooper Rush. I, I keep saying Cooper Rush trade, guys, but you guys know I, as, as much studying as I've done on the Cowboys, I've really looked into this Cooper Rush and Dak Prescott thing in, in case there was a change that needed to be made. Uh, but but that that's 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 long lived. That's way down the road. Uh, if, if that that probably we don't see that at, at all happening now. Um, but anyways, um, the thing with. Uh, with Amari Cooper, hopefully this will get Dak Prescott a little more time. Uh, hopefully this will work out, um, and and we can we can move forward. Uh, my thing is, I did want to go over what Jason uh, Garrett the Carrot said, and it was pretty freaking ridiculous. His comments on the situation. He never puts his nose out there. He never says anything that has any kind of solid facts to it. He just kind of he's like a little cheerleader. He's like to me, he you know he needs to get. Uh, Je Jerry Jones genitalia out of his mouth and and and, and say something that, that you know stand beside something, bro. Be, be a man. St stand beside your team. Stand beside a, mo a move. What he said was, we have great respect and admiration for Paul Paul uh, Alexander. You know the guy they got that that they got rid of, uh, and he is he is accomplished and is very successful in his NFL career. These are not easy decisions to make at any time of the year, but we move, uh, we, we will move ahead and with the utmost confidence in that Mark McAdoo and Hudson Hawk will bring our team in their new roles. See, he never says anything with any solid fact or, hey, he puts his, he, he doesn't, why don't you say, hey, our line, uh, you know, has regressed. We've fallen off uh, a few of the players and, and not only due to, um, you know, not only due to, 
possible player, uh, you know, players falling off. This has to do with the coaching scheme and the blocking scheme, and, and you got zone blocking schemes and you got power blocking schemes, and they're just not being used at the right time. Why don't you say that? Put it out there, bro. Put your put your neck on the line. You're the head coach. You're the man in charge. You're the one. You're the one uh, flying this the ship. You're the one uh, flying this airplane. You're the one. Uh, you know, driving the ship. Say something. But, but no, that, that's not Jason Garrett's mentality. Uh, he's soft, uh, he's soggy is what I call it. That's the word for him, he's soggy. He's like old ass cereal that's been sitting in the milk too long. So we'll see guys, uh, hopefully this will do something. Um, hopefully this, the, the blocking schemes will help us out a little bit, not sure. But this is really a, I wouldn't say a minimal move, like a move that's, that's gonna amount to nothing. Uh, this really could help us, uh, you know, protection for Dak Prescott is is really really uh, a fundamental thing that we have to have and it has fallen off uh, and I don't think the regression is as much as you know the players falling off or getting older or, or not being healthy and and uh, you know Travis Frederick not being there uh, you know it's just I think mm -hmm. it's just the fact that you know, the schemes aren't there, hopefully. So hopefully this will make a difference. I'm actually more excited about this than I was the, the, the Amari Cooper thing. I think now that this is made, had has, has happened, the Amari Cooper uh, trade makes more sense. Um, hopefully Dak will get more time, because to me, he didn't have the time to get the ball down the field anyway, so why bring a wide receiver in? So hopefully this will change things up, shake, shake the tree up a little bit. Uh, when you shake a tree, you know, the, the dried dead fruit falls off first. So hopefully we, we've done that. We've shaken the tree up and the dried dead fruit, uh, you know, has fallen off and, and we can move forward. But anyways, that's the end of my show, guys. Uh, just wanted to get that out. I'm sorry I'm late, but I, I think this is a good move. I really, really, like I said, I really love the oversight there by Hudson Hawk. Um, that, that's going to bring a new dimension to it. And uh, a lot of film room time I know will be put into this and, and, and trust both of those guys on the moves. Uh, also Colombo. So another move, guys, uh, the Amari, Amari Cooper trade. Hopefully that works out even better now. Uh, we should have more time for Dak Prescott and, and really get this line, the, the run scheme, rolling again. So take care, guys. Cowboy Crump from Kabul, Afghanistan, your war zone. Like and subscribe to the channel. Man, the channel's been growing crazy lately, so I appreciate all that. Love and respect all the Cowboy fans. If I make it, if we don't die in the car accident, then then uh, you will get this video posted. Thanks, guys. Peace. What's up, guys? Cowboy Crunk, just gonna add a little bit to the video. Just got here, hadn't been to the canine. This is our canine department. We haven't, I haven't been out here in a while, so I thought I'd show you guys around uh, what we do in Kabul. We also have uh, overseas security for the for the trucks that go out. These are our drug dogs. We, we check all the drivers and the in, the input on the drivers. We check the truck and everything. These are our bomb dogs here. We have 16. 16 bomb dogs. Yeah, yeah they, they ain't no joke, dog. These, these is real military drug dogs and bomb dogs. Uh, Okay, we got a little quiet area here, but this is a section we started about four years ago. Uh, one of the suggestions of one of the other managers uh, since then, uh, we designed the kennel. All of this is made by NFC. All of this stuff is, uh, yeah, it's some serious, the ones that are quiet, that's who you need to be scared of. That one's the scary one down there, right? Yeah, that's Fico. Yeah, that's the scary one, because he's quiet. Rico and then... Uh, yeah, Rico. Rico gathers right there. That's your dog, Rico. He's not here, but that's a Fico. Right there. Responsible for most bites. <laughs> this is the biting ass one, Fico. So definitely. Like the one that he's standing, that small beast, yeah. he also bites. <laughs> Crazy. But anyways, I wanted to add that to the to the to the video, guys. Uh, we got a big week coming up. This is the season, man. I mean, this is if this either makes or breaks our season this week. It, it, it tells us if we went in the right direction, if the management is making good decisions, or or if they've made some mistakes. But guys, there's no way we're a worse team with, with the moves they made. I think that, that it did. Oh, now the now the uh, the the drug dogs want some attention. But these are the these are the bomb dogs. 
God damn. I saw that. I saw this fence open. I saw this fence open. I want to make sure the dog wasn't getting out of this bitch. But here's a. Yeah, cool little dogs, man. Each one of these dogs cost about 15 grand to each. Then I had to get them all shipped in, shipped into Afghanistan, customs papers and all those things. Uh, you guys probably can't hear a damn thing I'm saying, but uh, no, really, really, this was, they're an asset to our company. Uh, they, they, we secure our own trucks here. All the other companies have to contract that out or they don't, or the trucks don't even get checked till they get to Bagram or till they get to Kandahar or till they get to Fenty, all these fobs out here. We check our trucks before they leave. We make sure our truck and our fuel is safe. And, and the drivers are not doing drugs and shit driving because that goes on a lot here. So, anyways, take care, guys. Cowboy Crunk, peace out. This is the weekend. We got to turn it around, baby. We got to turn it around. Take these moves we made and, 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 and do the best thing with them. Uh, get Cooper the ball. Give D Dak Prescott a little more time. And, and let's see if we got a real quarterback. Let's see if we've got a future, you know, uh, a, a, a franchise quarterback. That's what we're looking for. Peace, guys. <laughs> What's up? What's up, guys? How you doing? Cowboy Crunk to you, coming to you from Afghanistan again. I wanted to show you our fuel laboratory. This fuel laboratory is so damn amazing. It's it's gotten us in trouble. They don't want us. I, it's an idea I have. I don't think they want us to supply fuel anymore. They want us to just do the damn testing. But this this fuel laboratory is amazing, bro. And and uh, I actually used to live upstairs. This was a facility uh, I've been putting together for with our lab technician, our, our, our chemist, for about uh, for about four years we've been working on this laboratory. Super, super high-end, expensive. Some of these machines cost a quarter of a million dollars. Some of these machines are a Lamborghini sitting on a countertop. Uh, one of them is a Jeff type machine over here, uh, but this does all our fuel testing. That's our lead chemist. Okay, this is not so much for, for, for a new technology. So, if you guys know Fuel's Laboratory, you'll be highly impressed. Go over to the other bay. We have three bays, actually. Uh, and, yeah, this is in Kabul, Afghanistan. This is definitely probably the most, the cleanest. It's got uh, fresh air filters that, that filter the air. It takes care of the bio biometric pressure and all those things. Uh, this is our high temperature room. We do our bottle method testing and test for sediments and stuff. I, I know you guys, I know this ain't Dallas Cowboys stuff and I apologize, but this is what I do. This is what I've been running from Afghanistan. I've gotten some comments. Oh, you're over there spending the taxpayers money. No, this company I work for saves the government millions and millions of dollars before we start to take it over the fuel operation. Hundreds of thousands of gallons were being stolen every day. Uh, we shut that down. Uh, it took me sending hundreds and hundreds of emails to the military who was just filing the invoices and paying people. And I told him, you can't do that. You can't just file these invoices and pay people because they send you an invoice that they downloaded, you know, 5,000 gallons. When, when you, when out of the military tanks, we would ship them uh, 10,000 gallons out of a military tank and they would only receive seven. You know, they'd receive, so you'd lose 3,000 gallons on a truck. And we were doing 250 trucks a day to Kandahar, Harat. Uh, Mazar, uh, Bagram, all of these bases over here. So this is what we've done. We built a really, really good company. That's that that we have. We were DLA Innovative Company of the Year. That's out of 3,500 companies that applied. We were number one. So I just wanted to show you guys what Kabul is, what Kabul has been doing, what your taxpayer dollars go to, and and not all of it is spent uh, wildly. Uh, the last contract, I, I ended up purchasing $400,000 worth of equipment for a contract will probably net like around the same. So basically, we just got free free equipment and we, we've got to run the equipment for a year. But we're, that's a no profit contract. So anyways, from Kabul, Afghanistan, the number one laboratory in the Middle East, probably it, this includes Dubai and Istanbul and some of the other places. This, this lab probably has more capabilities than all of them. So. Love you guys. Peace. Taxpayer money going to good things. I promise you guys. Peace.